Hey everybody, this is Dark Slayer, and you are watching Dark Slayer TV. And as you all know, I recently got my YouTube partnership, and along with the YouTube partnership means more videos. And uh, I figured I should cast a few StarCraft 2 games, which you all know I'd rather cast the fan games rather than these professional games. And if you do want your game casted, please send it to DarkSlayerTV at gmail.com. I would love to have your guys' videos to cast those other than the professionals because there are so many good casters that do the pros. However, let's jump right into this game. Over here on the right side of Terminus, we have Dignitas' show playing our Red Terran. Over here on the left side, we have our Blue Protoss, TSL's Killer. Now, if I look over here on my second monitor, we do see that this was actually sent in from the Intel Extreme Masters over in New York. And uh, this is very, very, very far uh, rushing distance. So I doubt we're going to see any four gating or, you know, two barracks rush play. However, I could be wrong. This is a, um, if I'm correct, a Korean map. This actually isn't on the US ladder. And uh, as I was loading the map, it did say GSL, so this is a GSL map, which does not necessarily mean it is on the ladder. Just like Metalopolis, that's not on the ladder anymore, however, you do see it in tournament play quite often. Now, uh, we do see that the gateway is about halfway complete here for TSL Killer. And I uh, got that probe coming up here, going to see that uh, there is a barracks down. He does not have the gas yet, though. That could uh, be a sign of an early expand. It could be a sign of uh, barracks pressure, but uh, being on the opposite sides of the map, we, we will guess that Killer's Instincts is that it will be for that early expand. And as you can see, Show actually doing a bit of a wall off, um, something I wouldn't really be expecting um, on this map versus a Protoss. And uh, the Cybernetic Core now down for Killer on 18 supply. Actually, it was a little bit late, probably around 17 supply. And uh, the Zealot now making its way onto the field, going to be going over here, blocking this ramp, killing that SCV, making sure that uh, it does not scout anything. And there you go, the expand is going down for show as we speak. Going to throw that expansion down, get those early minerals out, which is actually pretty standard versus Protoss. Most Terrans will get that early expand, try to get that early economic lead on them. But uh, that can be punished with a 4-gate. However, recently during BlizzCon, I did just watch a game where, uh, oh man, who was playing, I don't recall, but the Protoss player did 4-gate a Terran who early expanded and uh, with epic, epic SCV micro, micro uh, actually healing a siege tank and just getting in the right positioning, that Protoss actually got defeated. And uh, as we see, the bunker is down now for show at the wall, or the entrance to his natural, getting those marines in there, getting that static defense that Terran is so good for. Barracks now, second barracks, and a third barracks now on the way for show. Very standard three barracks expand. And uh, as you can see, we do have Warp Gate on the way. He actually isn't using his chronos on that. Um, very simple mistake that a lot of Protoss can do, and we can see that the Protoss is going to expand too. He sees that Show is actually going for the expand, so he knows it is safe, and he actually pretty much has to expand because he isn't foregating, so he would get way too behind economically if he didn't do that. Going into that second Orbital Command now in the natural, throwing down another gateway for TSL's killer right now. And uh, actually, a sentry on the way for Killer. We have a stalker now sniping away at an SCV that was trying to get in to show or er, Killer's base, but it was defeated, and uh, Show didn't get that scouting information he needed. Show throwing down his second gas now as we speak, and uh, has not taken the gas at the natural yet. Um, not going for a very very high tech build, or we would be seeing all geysers taken at this point. For it is six minutes in. And uh, that second geyser was sort of late, so uh, expecting a high barracks marine play would be, you know, something to expect. Two more gateways are about to complete for TSL's killer. Transferring the probes now over into the natural. And uh, over in the show's base, we do see that this stalker trying to do a little bit of harassment. But with that bunker giving the marines plus one to range, that stalker is unable to start pesking away at this bunker. And the marines now going to start running out to try to take out the stalker. But the stalker is quickly microed away. 
because micros are a lot faster than marines and do have more range than the marines do Back over here we do see that killer is going and getting that uh, second base saturated moving from stalkers across the field now going to uh, try to keep a contain up on a show right now he doesn't want show to be getting out getting any extra expands and uh, we might actually see some pretty heavy um, a pretty aggressive game from here because we do have the robotics bay now down for killer and uh, we do have a sentry actually at the main base too to uh, force field that ramp in case any pressure does come slips around these stalkers but uh, these stalkers are actually not going to be enough to break this wall but they are working on this destructible debris and uh, if show doesn't see it, he does see it and show's gonna run here will he be able to snipe that stalker no because the stock the marauders do not have the marauder slow yet that stalker did survive because he did not have that concussive shell and uh, shows you what one upgrade can really do for you in a game we do have plus one now on the way for TSL's killer or no for uh, show we do have the Colossus tech however on the way for TSL killer which is a smart move because of uh, shows lack of tech he's going for a very bio build and uh, that marine now poking its head out to see if those stalkers are still fighting at the debris which they're not because if those if that debris goes down this instantly becomes a much much harder expand to defend especially when you have one now you have two pathways you have to defend and this is where your third would normally be so if these debris if this debris does go down that is just something a show is just gonna have to really really fight for and he does not want that to happen we do have two Praxis pylons down here at the bottom left wall and the third for TSL's killer I'm not sure exactly what they are for we do have some more sentries up here and uh, the Colossus are now on the way using that Corona boost trying to get that Colossus out and that extended thermal lance over here in show's base we do see that he does have his third command center just finishing it up plus one just completing and the stim pack just finishing up and we do have an observer now for killer in the base going in here seeing all the tech that's going on and a little bit of a push out by show right there is he going to attack or is he just going out to make sure there are no more stalkers in the area marines now returning home one marine actually told where is he told to go um, to attack move up all the way up here to make sure there's no ninja expand coming up for killer and uh, in uh, killers base we do see that a colossus is just now finishing up and uh, if we go to the units tab we do see that yep that is the first colossus he does not have a second and uh, but he is chronoing another one out and he does have the plus one armor on the way so in three more gateways actually being placed down this is going to end up being a very 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 heavy macro build and uh, this is going to be a very epic battle when it does commence we do have the twilight council on the ground for killer and uh, show now just getting those medevacs upgrades more marines even getting a ghost academy and uh, that ghost academy is going to be able to play a huge role because if he can get off some good imps or um, maybe even nuke play however nuke play is unlikely we do see now show moving across the map he's about halfway there stopping at this top right now zell naga and uh, not quite wanting to push out yet i say that but there he goes with combat shield just finishing up starting that marauder slow and uh, he's making his way down the map but if we look in the units tab he, he is up against two Colossus. Well, he, he might be up against two Colossus. However, he does only have seven Stalkers and five Zealots. And this is a gigantic army. I mean, we're looking at 136 supply to killers 118. So this is actually a pretty close battle. It kind of depends on micro at this point. And here we go. They're going to start engaging. The Colossus does start firing away, killing off one Marine. And that's when Sho decides to turn around and leave. He decides he doesn't want to stick around. He doesn't want to take that Colossus fire. But he just still has units streaming across the map as we speak. And Zealot Charge is actually being um, researched as we speak for Killer. If uh, Killer gets too many of these upgrades up, it's going to be very hard for Sho to get in here and bust this natural open. We are seeing a uh, fourth base now going down for show be going getting really greedy right now um, but he is keeping up the pressure he's using this pressure and expanding behind it if he didn't keep this pressure up it would be very hard for him to take that fourth because that would leave killer like capable of leaving his base and that would just not be very good because you would have killer over here just sniping away at all your stuff and here we go a big drop coming in from show it is stopped right here right outside of his base what does he plan on doing with these and here we go they're coming in 
They're gonna start dropping. However, the stalkers are already in place, and they're gonna start stabbing away at these medevacs. The medevac does get away with 66 HP. Very close right there. That medevac, if it would have died, would have been GG. Okay, it wouldn't have been GG, but it would be very bad for show. And uh, he does decide to drop his units. Um, probably not going for that drop because he knows the stalkers are in place. We do have a few ghosts on the field right now for show. Show even getting some Vikings, getting that Viking count up because he knows there are Colossi on the field. And here we go, a push out from Killer right now with three Colossus on the way. Tons of Colossus and Zealots and Sentries. Very few stalkers on the field. So it's going to come down to pure micro, because if these Colossus die, then Killer dies. However, if these Colossus live, then shows in, you know, pretty bad trouble. Even stimming a Marine trying to get away, but the Zealot is trying to chase it. As soon as Charge is ready again, he will be able to kill it, but no, Killer calls it off. He decides that Marine gets to live, or he did use drugs to get away. Kids don't use drugs. Drugs are never the answer. And uh, we do have a very big death ball coming up for show right now. In the units tab, we do see, see that it's 71 SCVs to 69 probes. So we're looking at about 160, no, 110 supply and army right now. Well, hold on. What am I doing? There is a tab meant for this, and I must find it. Ah, I do not know what it is. I am just a bad caster. Alrighty. Oh, wow. Look at that. Four more barracks being placed for show right now. He knows he's getting the economic lead. He has four bases, one of them uh, being gold. No, never mind one not being gold. And uh, he's going to get all these barracks and stuff up. So that way, when these units are dying in battle, he will stream units across the map at a rapid pace, leaving the Protoss, waiting on cooldowns. And here we go. Here's a bit of an engagement. Yeah, however... Show does decide to back off. The, now there are tons of Vikings making their way across. There's a scan to keep a close eye on Killer, doing a little bit of a blink, trying to snipe away at those Vikings. And the Zealot told the whole position so he can have the Zelnaga, but he will be sniped away. And there he goes. And uh, the Stalker's now moving down. But he does stim and comes down here trying to kill off a Stalker, which he does because of the Marauder Slow. And the Colossus are now coming over here, getting a few kills because of the Thermal Lancing so far away. Huge stim from Show. It was a little premature, though, for. He did not actually engage right there. Now these medevacs are going to have to waste energy to heal up all these marines and marauders for a waste of stim. Another stim from show. That is a lot of stimming for for nothing. I mean, he isn't getting any kills on those stalkers. We don't know what's going on. And Storm is actually almost done for Killer right now. If he can hold off just a little bit longer, this Protoss army is going to become that much stronger. Storm's just destroy bio. And we don't know what's going to go on. There's so many Vikings on the field right now with so many Colossus, even separating his units so well. So many High Templar. And Storm is just now like 10 seconds from completing. However, there's a giant stem once again trying to go in, but he decides not to. He's stimming way too many times. These medevacs are almost completely into energy. And here we go, a little bit of an engagement. Huge imps right there taking out all that century energy. And one of the High Templars are now dead on energy and uh, decides not to engage just yet. Storm is complete for Killer. And uh, here goes the sentries. He's going to move a few sentries over here to see what show is doing. And uh, did he just scan his own army? I don't know if that was a misclick or not. But here we go. Another stim from show. However, he decides to engage this time. No, he's going to start to run away. These zealots are over here and uh, going to start trying to slice slash away at these marines. However, they are microed away. Now we do see that Sho is, you know, making his way left and right up and down this map. And Sho actually going for an expand. But Killer does see it and he says, no, I'm not going to let you expand right now. That is a horrible idea. And it was canceled. He did lose 100 minerals in that engagement. But uh, not that big of a deal. We do see that there is a bit of a ninja expand for Killer at the bottom of the map while all that was going on. And uh, this, ma this match is going on and on, getting longer and longer. And uh, all, all these command centers now actually being morphed in um, to try to get these expansions going for show. Both players sitting on high, high amounts of resources because both players are at supply cap. But neither of them want to engage right now. They don't feel safe doing it. And uh, I don't blame them. They're both kind of sitting back, macroing up, getting their upgrades, trying to expand. And uh, we now have some SCVs making their way across the map right now. He is throwing them away at the same time trying to scout with them because he's trying to clear up some supply for more army. More SCVs now making their way down the map and uh, Killer just killing them away. 
and uh, more SCVs. Tons of supply being freed up for show right now because he wants to get out more and more uh, space. And there we go. There's all those ghosts on the field. There's like seven right there. And here we go. They're going to start to engage. And uh, here goes the giant engagement. Who's going to win this battle? Even stimming to get out of that storm. He knew exactly what was coming. He ran right back through it. So a stim on top of storm. This huge bio ball is in serious danger. Even an Archon trying to morph in. However, it was sniped off. And uh, Killer not engaging right now. He doesn't want to engage. And uh, all these ghosts are actually probably getting pretty low on energy. And here we go. They're going down. No, they decide not to. We don't know what Killer is wanting to do just yet. And uh, both players being really cautious right now. And here we go. They are moving in. All these ghosts are cut out of place. Tons of ghosts are going down left and right. All the ghosts are going to get killed. There's a stim from Show. He needs to get those Colossi up here right now. They're sniping away at the command centers. They need to be firing at that army. And there you go. Tons of storms wiping out tons of Show shows units and uh, the battle is commencing right now the command center even goes down and you need to get these sentries out of there but because of that concussive shell the sentries will die and here goes more of an engagement a couple of the clauses do go down but it looks like killer does have the army advantage right now however there are so many look at all of these barracks holy barracks batman Oh my gosh, you will never be able to kill Show because he has so many barracks he can make like 80 units at a time. Oh my gosh, nowhere near as many gateways. That is just absurd. You, uh, whole, wow, holy barracks, Batman. And here we go, going to be going in and trying to engage again. Even using a little bit of a blink right there. Not exactly sure why he needs to get that Colossus up here to start sniping away at the army. And there we go. We do have a missile turret firing away at the Colossus. He needs to micro that Colossus away from the turret. He needs to start focusing on the army and getting them just plainly away from that turret. We come down. We do see tons of SCVs and mules dying. And he's going in trying to kill out this planetary fortress. And there it goes. The planetary fortress is going to fall. There it goes. The planetary fortress did fall. And now all these miners are going to go down. And Colossus did die. This Colossus is now sitting on really low HP and shields. It needs to be very careful if he doesn't want to lose it. This uh, that orbital command is going to start flying away. But if you just look at look at the production tab, we have five marauders, one marine, and three ghosts being made as we speak. Not as many as I'd like to see with that many barracks. However, he is low on money. And again, another stem coming in from show right now. And a little bit of a blink right there, losing that Colossus. He did not micro that backwards because of the Vikings. However, show in a very bad position right now. Killer with just a great offense taking another base while this is all going on and then a great storm right there taking out tons of that bio and there you go there's an imp and he needs to start sniping away at that archon it has no shields right now it's only got 20 hp and but he doesn't get the uh, thing killed and oh my god a nuke there is a nuke right here on show's base it does killer see i don't know if he sees it the nuke's gonna land any second he needs to get his units out of there the nuke is gonna fall it's gonna fall right on top of all his units and the units do go down Oh my gosh, Killer, you just lost all of your units to a nuke, man. He's even going to throw down a pylon just so he can get some units there faster. However, Show denies it, runs out. Killer, oh my gosh, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible decision to leave your units right there getting hit by that nuke. Show feeling good right now. He knows that was a good advantage. However, Killer got the time to expand two or three times, maybe even a third time. No, I'm sorry, that was just his log going up to the top. Oh my gosh. However, Show is now only sitting on 70 supply. That's not good. Killer sitting on 150. Killer with just a good advantage right now. He's going to start building up this army again, and there he goes. He's going to move out and try to attack Show once again. However, Killer needs to be careful. He needs to look for that red dot because that red dot literally just killed him. Man, that was such a clutch play from Show. That nuke was just fantastic. And as you can see, Show now going to be moving this. Uh, orbital command down here to try to expand however the pylon will scout it and we do see a big move out from killer right now and it's 178 supply to show it's only 82 he has all those barracks to rebuild his army however he does not have the money or the economy to support it and uh, as you can see we actually have a fleet beacon on the way for killer this could be uh, many things this could be carriers which would be absolutely insane or it could be something as simple as a mothership wait simple mothership that's not simple at all so uh, we do now have the marauders with 3-3 by the way 
going over here to try to defend this expand. However, the pylon scouting it told Killer he needs to get down here and prevent this expansion. However, there's a giant engagement up here that I am missing, and there were some great imps, tons of imps. None of these protoss units have shields. However, there's just so many of them. The zealots are surrounding all the units, and the units are just getting slaughtered. The zealots are even down sniping away at the command center, and there's the GG from Dignitas Show. What an amazing match. We actually got to see a nuke hit a protoss army, and the protoss army still comes back and takes the game. Thank <laughs> you.